Good afternoon and welcome to Mother of God Catholic Church. Today's Mass offering is for the All Souls Intentions. Some parish announcements. This weekend, all Catholics in the Archdiocese of Denver are being act, asked to support the annual Seminarian's Appeal. Your gift will convey your gratitude for today's priests while also encouraging our seminarians in their daily growth to the priesthood. Please take time to view the video on the parish website about the seminarians. Thank you. On November 11th, Veterans Day, Archbishop Aquila will celebrate a mass in honor of military veterans at 6.30 p.m. To view the live stream mass, log on to archden.org. As we prepare for the celebration of the Holy Mass, please silence all electronic devices and stand as we greet Father Vincent. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Coming together at God's children, let us a moment in silence, and ask God for mercy and pardon. I confess, the mighty one. To my fault, to my fault, to my mercy fault. Therefore, I have blessed me, Virgin. All these saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy and forgive us our sin and bring us to the lasting life.
and merciful God graciously keep from us all adversity so that unhindered in mind and body alike we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours to our Lord Jesus Christ your son who live and rank with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Resplendent and unfading is wisdom, and she is readily perceived by those who love her and found by those who seek her. She hastens to make herself known in anticipation of their desire. Whoever watches for her at dawn shall not be disappointed, for he shall find her sitting by his gate. For taking thought of wisdom is perfection of prudence, and whomever for her sake keeps vigil, vigil shall quickly be free from care, because she makes her rounds seeking those worthy of her, and graciously appears to them in the ways, and meets them all with solicitude. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest of us who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God, through Jesus, bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with the word of command, with the voice of an archangel, with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciple this parable, the kingdom of heaven will be like the ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the ripe groom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones when taking their lamps brought no oil with them but the wife brought flags of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish one said to the wife, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the white ones reply, No, for there are not enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourself. While they went out to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterward, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hours. The Gospel of the Lord. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hours. Let's say the mayor talked about the second coming early next year. 
would we be afraid? If somebody were to say, I'm a prophet, I, beginning next year, second coming, would, you, we, would we be afraid? Tell you the truth, I don't. Because it happened before, don't we remember? The year 2000, so many false prophets predict all kind of the second coming, the doomsday and everything. It never happened. But today, the Lord Jesus said, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Beautiful. It reminds us how is our relationship with our merciful God in our daily life. Have you ever take time and reflect upon your relationship with our merciful God day in and day out? Have you ever been in a quiet place and very quiet that God speak to you? And he will tell you everything, how your relationship with him. The thing is, we are so afraid to be in silence to be instilled. Everything surrounded by noises. And we just don't have time to listen to God, to allow God to speak to us in a gentle way. And we totally forgot who God is in our own life. And if we prepare for the Lord Jesus to come, why are we so afraid? On our journey of faith, what are we waiting for? To see God face to face, don't we? When we see God face to face, is it a doom day or a joyful day? It must be a joyful day that we be able to see God face to face. We are gathered here, we worship God. We know God is present among us right now. And yet, with our physical eye, we are unable to see him, but we know that he is present among us. The day we see God face, face to face, it the day it it is a joyful day for us. Finally, in our own life, we are able to see our gentle Lord, the one who we worship, the one who loves us, the one who protects us from all harm and evil. How wonderful it is for us to see our living God. So we must follow the example of the five wise ones to prepare ourselves to see our living God. So how do we prepare ourselves? In today's response to the song, we just heard, my soul is thirsty, thirsting for the living God. Son Augustine one time said, my soul is Rest left until it rests in you, my Lord. On our journey of faith, our heart is always restless because we are journeying the day we see God face to face. In the meantime, we must live in out our own faith. Today, the first reading from the book Wisdom reminds us to seek God's will in our own life. Not only are we seeking God's will in our own life, but also to be able to fulfill God's will in our daily life. So how do we prepare and fulfill God's will in our daily life? God already gave us all the gift in our own life, the gift of the Holy Spirit, we have nothing to be afraid of. 
the light of Christ will shine in our journey of it so that we be able to follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit to do God's will. When we fulfill God's will in our own daily life, we are like the five wise virgin. We have nothing to be afraid of when we see God face to face. Our God is the God of gentle. Our God is the God of love. Our God is the God of compassion. Our God is the God of kindness, of gentleness. The God who loved all his children and invite all his children to come to him, to be with him in the heavenly kingdom, at the heavenly banquet. Are we repaired like the five white virgin? Put all the oil in the lamb to go out and meet a merciful God. Or are we think we have so much time, then therefore we don't have to worry about it. Think in our own life. Many of our friends, many the people that we have to come and know, including our own parents or our sibling, they already there. Their journey of faith had come to the end, and yet they meet their living God. Don't we all journey to meet them in the heavenly kingdom? We all do. And we thank God that we truly know that God loves us. Our gentle Jesus reminds us about our journey of faith. He taught us how to get to heaven. And he teaches us to have faith in God and have faith in the Lord Jesus. When we truly have faith in God and have faith in the Lord Jesus, and follow all God's commandments and the teaching of the Lord Jesus. At the end of our early life, not only that is the most joyful day in our own life, but we also meet the Lord Jesus at the heavenly gate. The Lord Jesus will welcome us to his heavenly kingdom and tell it us, call up by name. Come, my disciple, for your reward is in heaven. Come to the feast, the heavenly banquet that I have prepared for you. That's what we are journeying for. And that's what five virgins in today's gospel is all about. They prepare themselves to meet their God. In our life, are we ready to meet our God? Or are we think we have too much time, therefore we don't need to prepare for it? Let us pray that we truly prepare ourselves to meet our merciful God, our gentle Lord, our compassionate God. But we also, during this time, we pray for our nation that we truly be at peace with one another so that together we give God thanks for everything God has given to us in life. Let us come together as a nation to thank God, to praise God, and to allow God to help us to go to our own conversion that we truly recognize only in God our soul is at rest. May God bless every one of us. May God bless our family. May God bless our nation. Together, we give God thanks and pray. Together, we come to the Lord Jesus, the gentle Lord Jesus, 
who is welcome every one of us into his heavenly kingdom if we truly be faithful to him. God bless. I believe from man, be God and not man, and stop saying no with the Father. To him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he can be. In kind of first Mary, and became man. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, God's love is better than life, so we present our prayers to the Lord. That all who minister in the church be leaders who serve and servants who lead. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear me. That our country continue to honor all those who have given the ultimate sacrifice in the quest for freedom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the veterans who gave service to our country receive the honor and appreciation they are due. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are ill, especially Mai Fung, Na Freeman, Mary Maroney, Jim and Teresa Vonick, Andy and Chris Clark, Francis Breeze, Bob Stark, Denise E. Holtz, Scott Lynch, Sandra Aureleno, Patricia Campbell, and Jim McNamara, that they trust in God's healing presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord that our beloved dead may know the abundance of new life in God's heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord in silence, let us bring our own thoughts and intentions to God. We pray to the Lord. O oh God of endless love, in the shadow of your wings we find refuge. Hear the prayer we humbly make. True Christ our Lord. <clears throat>
Pray that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gift offered here, thus celebrating the mystery passion of your Son. We may honor it with a loving devotion to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, true Christ our Lord, hit that we celebrate in love, hit resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels, we pray you up with our end we acclaim. <laughs> indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created ready to give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you keep light to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy this gift we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to disciples, saying, Take this out of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, again giving thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this out of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood and you never last in covenant will pour out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of this passion of your Son, his wonderful resurrection and ascension to heaven. And as we look for second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the blessing of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit, 
may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and cross martyrs, and with all your sons on whom constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, affirm the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope and Samuel, our Archbishop, and our sister Bishop Jorge, and all the order of Bishop, all the clergy, and the type of people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayer of the family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O Most Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our deep hearted brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you. Up their passing from this life, keep kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to endure forever the vision of your glory, through Christ our Lord to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory is on the yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. At the sage of command and from the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your past of peace, I leave you, my peace, I keep you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity not according with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed O God, the supper of the Lamb.
We have the second uh, collection during this time for seminary appeal. So please, please support uh, the seminary so that we can train our future priests. So thank you for your generosity. Let us pray. <clears throat> Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your spirit, the grace of integrity may endure, in though heavenly power had entered through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the blessing of God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go for the Mass ended. Thank you.